Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a brand new Microsoft Excel tutorial and we will talk about another function in Excel which is VLOOKUP. So what is VLOOKUP? It is one of the most widely used functions in Microsoft Excel. VLOOKUP lets you look up a value in a column on the left then returns information in another column to the right if it finds a match. For example, you have a store and you're selling a lot of products and then you recorded on Excel the price of each product. And when someone buys a product on your store and you need to know how much is the price for that product, VLOOKUP can help you do it. For example, here we have a list of fruits, apples, oranges, bananas, and lemons. And someone bought bananas. So let's type, I type here bananas. Imagine these are thousands of rows and I need to look for the price of the banana. Let's just change amount to price. There you go. And let's use VLOOKUP. This is how to use it. Just press equal equal sign then type v look up open parenthesis and then let's select bananas control click here because that's the value that we're looking for then comma and then you have to select the range of your product until the range of its price so it's like this i just press control click apples drag it here and then i'll drag it until here all right, because that's the range where you want Excel to look for it and press comma and then let's press two because the value is on two columns to the right because it's here a b so how many columns from the right one two so you're telling Excel that when he finds banana in this range a4 to b7 he will look for the value on the second column to the right and then comma let's put false because we want an exact and approximate match. Then let's close it with a closing parenthesis, then press enter. So there you go, the price of the banana is 60. Pretty useful. And that is how you use VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel. I hope you learned something from it. This has been Wences Arcales Santos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next tutorial.